Three years ago, I made a tutorial where a string is following two shapes around. This has changed with Adobe After Effects 2020. I'm going to show you the new way of fixing this. So with your pen tool and a stroke, you can make whatever color, whatever shape. I draw two points. Now I twirl down and I select my path and I go up to window, create nulls from paths and you get three options. First one, points follow nulls. This is the one I'm going to use for this and I'll show you what the other two do. What's going to happen is these two points on this path will be animated by the nulls. The other one, nulls follow paths. If I moved the path points around, the nulls parented to them would move. And lastly, trace path. I'm going to show you what that one does. You can have an object follow your path. So I'm going to use points follow nulls and close this window. And you see, I've got one at the top and one at the bottom. So I'm going to name this top, making it easy on myself. I'm going to call this one bottom. Now, all I have to do is move those nulls and this point will move. I mean, and the path will move. So let me demonstrate. If I move this null, the path point moves with it. So that's going to give you that animated look. Now, if you want something on the end of each, it could be anything. It could be a video clip. It could be uh, an image. I'm just going to demonstrate with a shape layer. And I'm going to line it up and I'm going to move the anchor point to the center. Hold down control or command to snap it to the middle. And I'll call this top circle. Now I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to put it above my bottom null and I'll name it bottom circle. Okay, so I've got my bottom circle. I'm going to move that and line it up where I want it to be. And now I parent that to the bottom null. So when I move my top null, oops, and I make sure my top circle is parented to the top null. Now when I move the top null, that moves with it. And when I move the bottom null, the shape and the path point move with each. So I just keyframe them however I want. And then move my playhead. And now the effect works again. So I'm going to select all my keyframes, right click, choose Ease. And now I can throw a turbulent displace on the string if I want to, the original shape point I drew. Just watch you don't make the displacement so big that it goes past those path points. And if I want to add some extra life, I could animate the evolution of that. So now it's got more of a flexible look to it. Other options, if you want a consistent wave, you could use wave warp on that string shape and then increase the width of the waves and decrease the size a little bit if you want. Now that's working again. So as promised, that's the first shape. I'm going to draw a second shape. Like that and I'll hide everything below it. Actually, I'll just solo that and the background. Okay, I'm going to give this a stroke instead of a fill. So now with the path selected, if I go window, create nulls from paths, trace path. This null, let me move it to the beginning, will now move along the path, as you can see. And I can put whatever I want. It could be a shape. It could be a um, movie clip, whatever you want doesn't matter. Make sure nothing's selected. I'm just going to put a star here so you can see its rotation. And I'm going to parent the star to that null. And now the star follows the shape path that I just drew. And if you want this to draw on or follow behind it, you just add a trim path to the original shape that you drew, which is right here. And to do that, you select the path layer choose add and trim paths and now you can twirl down the trim paths arrow and I'm going to animate the end point the first point I drew is the start the second one is the end so I'm going to move a little bit so that it trails behind and then 
go to there. And I want, don't want it to be too far behind. See, it's a little too far behind. So I'm gonna have that first point come in a little closer. There we go. Now it's following along nicely. And if I wanna get rid of this looping effect, that is the default on that script. Here it is right here. And it's right down here at the bottom, loop out. So I'm gonna get rid of that. We'll see if that fixes it. Now it no longer loops. So I hope that helps answer your question.